Simsim and we have millet. This tray you can see has four pots here and one big one here. What you do is that, for example, you bring maize. You see maize? These are maize seeds. These are maize seeds. You put them in this bigger tray. Okay? From here, you bring beans. Just a handful. You can see. These are beans. Beans. Okay? You put them in the same tray, bigger tray. You mix them up. Remember, beans are big and maize are big. What you do is that since this child cannot see, this child begins to sort. You put them in these trays. You get the two trays and say in front of you there are two trays. The child begins to sort by feeling, touching. What is the difference between this and this one? Okay? Put the beans on your right. Put the maize on your left. Look for it. Beans on your right, maize on your left. Eh? They are mixed. He's not seeing. Me, I'm able to see, but uh, you know, he is doing this practice. He sorts them out. This thing can take him hours. Because you start with a few so that he's able to master quickly. Then you keep increasing, increasing, increasing. He sorts these things. Give him time to sort them. Give him time to sort them. He will be sorting these things in this way. Can you see? Yes. He will fill them. He will fill them by touch. Okay? He fills them by touch. He will be able to sort these things. He takes time sorting, sorting until all the beans are sorted. Maize are all sorted in one place. Can you see? At times even, uh, you know, some of the beans may be making, he can also make a mistake of throwing beans in the maize pot. <laughs> so you, you keep reminding him, beans are on your right, peas are, I mean the maize are on your left. Until all the beans, the, the beans and the maize in this tray are finished. Okay? Like this, this is sorting. This is a very important activity for the child to be able to make a difference between the seeds. Okay? That way, he fills them by touch. He fills them by touch, not by seeing, you know. All this, that is well done work. You can see, he has sorted beans, beans in one tray. He has sorted maize in one tray. Very excellent work. You appreciate the child. This is first day. The second day, you can put groundnuts and the maize and the beans. You know how granas feel like they are a little bit uh, softer, but uh, beans are a little bit harder. You remember we taught smooth and rough and uh, soft, big, and so on. We taught those, those concepts already. The child now already knows this one is hard. This one is softer. Groundnuts is softer. The second step is groundnuts and beans. You can complicate the activity by adding three things. Maize, beans, and the peas. Uh, here are the peas. See? These are... Yes, after finishing, 
the sorting between beans and the maize correctly, you appreciate the child. After that, you can complicate this activity by adding this piece. You see, this cow. Cow is now part of beans and maize. Let's just get a small piece now here. You mix them in this bigger tray. You get uh, beans, a few. Okay? Start with a few. So that the child feels he's achieving, he's making success, he's proceeding. So you mix three things. Peas, you mix kao, that is, ground uh, uh, maize, and beans. The child should be able to sort this. Now beans, peas are put in that, in that tray. Uh, beans are put in that tray. Uh -huh. Beans, beans, he fills them. No, this is maize, 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 beans, peas, 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 good. This child has done very well. He has managed to sort three seeds, three different types of seeds, beans, maize, and as uh, in, the, in the peas, which is the cow, cow. You see, there is also another type of uh, this gobe, this uh, the, 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 the seeds which are gobe. They are also peas, you know. They are there. You can see they are smaller. Uh, cow is a little bit bigger. You remember the concept we talked about, big and small. Uh -huh. You see, there was this. Uh, Maize. Maize looks different. And also beans. You can see how we are sorting this. If the child is doing very well, you can mix four things. You can add another. You get all the pieces of here. You get a little piece there. You get a little piece there. Because you have already named this is beans, maize, peas, and this is going to be the other gobe uh, seeds. You now go to sort this out. You say, those which are maize, go to the maize. Beans, go to the beans. So, so peas, cow, goes to the left. Then the other peas go to the other box. Are you seeing what I'm doing? Yes. Yes, you give the child the time. We don't hurry with the children with the visual impairment. He can be doing these activities even for a whole month. You know, preparing the fingers. We are all preparing the fingers to be able to read and write braille. Good. The child has been able to sort four seeds. And you can continue. Remember, starting with the big things. Now you are coming down. If there was, we have millet. There is millet here. There is a, another smaller seeds here. You see, you, you come from big to the smallest. The least thing we can have here is, you see we have uh, millet. Millet, you know, is one of the tiniest uh, seeds. There you are. <laughs> very, very tiny. Very tiny. You have to put them. You can put a piece of paper so that it is easy to get them up on this, in this tray. You put these things here in this same tray. You also see this is Sim Sim. You can see? Sim Sim. Uh -huh. Sim Sim. You put them there. Once the child is able to go to the next extent of being able to sort the sim sim from millet, then this child is able to read bread. Here, you now do a lot of these activities from the start, from the biggest, going up to the millet and, uh, me, uh, and the sim sim then the child would have done great work. If he's able to sort this, you don't give a lot of it to take a one week to sort them. 
you just give them a little. To be able to di differentiate, to sort, that he can feel that this, you know, millet is harder than, uh, than simsim. When you press simsim, it can become flesh. It can become, you know, very soft. So this is what you will be doing, sorting, uh, sorting seeds. Seeds are the best way of sorting, uh, you know, uh, using so sorting objects, items. You remember we started from the big one up to this level. Once you are able to mix one, two, three, four, five things and the child is able to sort them, then you know that this child is ready to begin learning braille. Because braille dots are to be felt with the fingers. What we do next is to transfer these seeds and put them on paper. You glue them. You glue them on paper. Eh? You glue them on paper. You glue all these things on paper. The child should be able to follow this line and say, this one is peas, peas. This one is uh, beans. This one is maize, maize, uh, beans, beans, uh, maize, beans. You mix them up from the biggest to the smallest on a paper. Why do we do it on paper? Because Braille is read on paper. You're not going to read Braille in air. Braille is written on Braille paper. Therefore, you are bringing the child from all, you know, uh, objects to now on paper. These seeds can now be transferred to paper so that the child is able to follow a line. You glue them according to the line of the, the paper so that the child follows. You see, indirectly, you are teaching this child to be able to read things from left to right, left to right, left to right. This is how we do these things. Once you play around with these seeds, the child is able to master these things. He now knows the seeds. He knows the objects. He knows the things in the environment. But this child is ready to learn bread. You can now go and begin introducing what is dot one. What are the six dots? Dot one, two, three, dot four, five, six. That is when Braille you would have mastered what to do. Ladies and gentlemen, we have demonstrated the way we can sort seeds. Remember we started sorting with the characteristics of paper, wood, metal, and uh, plastics. Now we have come down to seeds. You collect as many seeds as possible. It can